When you have a giant breed dog or you're considering getting one, you know that their size can play a significant factor into their grooming needs. Today we are looking at one of the biggest breeds in the world and everything that goes along with keeping them looking their best. I'm talking of course about the Great Dane. Welcome back to the Fenrir Great Dane Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is all about helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the incredible Great Dane and how you can become a high-level canine leader raising perfect Great Dane companions. So if you love them as much as we do, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future Great Dane video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll find out everything you need to know to keep the regal Great Dane looking his best every single day. And deemed a gentle giant, the Dane has a low to moderate energy level that keeps them from getting too dirty daily like other more active breeds. Their affectionate and patient natures mean they love all the attention they get when being groomed and love a gentle hand. Their short coat requires minimal maintenance to keep sleek and shiny, but you'll need to spend time on other areas to keep them truly clean. So let's take a closer look at their coat and what you'll need to know as you groom them. Danes have a short, sleek coat that sheds minimally throughout the year, but you'll still want to brush them regularly. Brushing a short coat helps remove and loosen the dander and bits of debris that can get stuck just under the fur, and it also brings the natural oils through. These oils make them softer and their coats shine with a healthy glow, plus brushing allows you to look for any injuries or potential issues you might have missed if not. You'll always want to brush them in from front to back and top to bottom in patterns and be mindful of bony areas along their legs. You can use a few different types of brushes depending on what your Dane likes best. Since their coats are thin, some Danes may prefer a soft bristle brush or even a cloth, while others might prefer the scratch of a stiff curry comb or tools like the Sleek Easy. Now go with whatever your Dane really enjoys and grooming should be an enjoyable bonding ritual for both of you, not a chore that you both hate. Now of course, you'll need to bathe them now and then as well, just like any dog. Make sure you use a shampoo and conditioner formulated for the pH balance of dogs' needs since they're completely different from what we humans need. Like you do when brushing, wash and rinse in a front to back pattern and top to bottom pattern and using a wet rag on their face to be careful to not get any water or shampoo in their eyes. You'll also want to make sure you dry their jowls and head thoroughly where they have wrinkles that could hold moisture and then cause infections. Now, depending on the activity level of your Dane, you may not have to trim their nails often, but it might be needed more often as they get older and don't wear them down naturally. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue center, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up, or found as strays, and helping implement behavior modification programs to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehome to their forever homes so if you're interested in following my journey of how i do that there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below i think you'll really enjoy the journey but i'll let you get back to the video you were just watching now i always suggest doing both of you a favor and get them used to the vibration of a nail grinding tool early on in their life you don't want to have sharp or long nails on their already massive paws and a dog that's freaking out if you go anywhere near them now, when grooming your Dane, you'll want to pay extra attention to their ears and jowls. Check their ears for any irritations or dirt, but don't use Q-tips or anything hard to clean them. You can use special ear cleaning solution, but make sure to go back with a dry cotton ball or rag to make sure no moisture is left behind that could, that could cause an issue. Check their jowls and under their chin for any bumps or irritations and give their face a gentle rub with a damp towel. They are known to be heavy droolers, causing issues along their jowls and under their jaw. They can be prone to small pimple-like bumps on their lower lip if they are sloppy eaters or drinkers, so wiping their face down each day is a great way to prevent these little bumps. But again, make sure that you always dry them really well to help cut and make sure that no infections come up from moisture trapped in their wrinkles. And that is pretty much it with a Great Dane. The only real consideration is their sheer size, which is one of the reasons that we always suggest having a high-level canine leader be able to guide and direct this kind of dog. We need to be able to get them comfortable and follow your leadership and guidance, whether we're wanting to bathe them, brush them, or trim their nails. We want to make sure that it's a fun, enjoyable experience. If you can get to there, maintaining a Great Dane looking their best isn't necessarily an overly complicated thing to tackle. If you did enjoy the video, 
video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and to remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. We've got two dedicated Great Dane videos coming to this channel every single week. And if there's a specific topic that you want us to make a video on, leave that down in the comment section below and we'll more than happily add it to the list.